Beautiful question. I really like this question. The area and square units enclosed by the lines x equal to 2, y equal to modulus of x minus 2 plus 4 and the x axis and y axis are equal to. Wonderful. x axis is this, y axis is this. x equal to 2 is a line parallel to the y axis. So we've got this. These three we have in the back. 0, 0, x axis, y axis. We can somehow get this. We are through. I'm going to get this slowly, methodically. We get this diagram shape, we are through. Fine. So for that, I'm going to go step by step. I'm going to draw y equal to mod x because I know that. y equal to x is a line like this. y equal to mod x is a line like this. It will be 0 at x equal to 0. And this is y equal to mod x. Now I want to say I want to y equal to modulus of x minus 2. Think about this will go to 0 when x is 2 or this is nothing and I'm just shifting it to the right y equal to mod x is like this y equal to modulus of x minus 2 will be like this how will y equal to modulus of x minus 2 plus 4 be add 4 1 2 3 4 it will be a line like this now take that to our original diagram so this is 2 comma 0 and then 2 comma 4. You are looking at a line like this. This point is 2 comma 4. We put x is 2, y will be 4. That's a bottom for this. You're looking at a curve like this. This distance is 2 units. This distance is 4 units. It's a straight line. The angle is 45 degrees. The modulus of x line. This is 2. This is 2. This area is half into 2 into 2, 2 square units. This area is 2 into 4, 8, 8 plus 2, 10. If you know y equal to mod x, you should have a sense of y equal to modulus of x minus 2. If you know y equal to f of x, you know y equal to f of x plus 4. Just take it higher. And then you visualize the shape. Think of the trapezium. Think of a right angle triangle and a rectangle. Then you're through.